Governor Kim Reynolds has made a series of changes to Iowa schools, and some of them reflect efforts by Republican governors in other states. Much more public money for private schools, restricting certain books in school libraries, banning talk about gender identity to young students, and reducing diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts at public universities. She's also substantially raised minimum teacher pay and restructured area education agencies. So what about that report in the Daily Caller that added her to the possible list for U.S. Secretary of Education candidates? No. I think, look at, look at how passionate I get when I talk about education. So it's just that. I, I, I am passionate about education. I'm proud of what we're doing. I mean, it started with STEM. It started with registered apprenticeship programs, literacy, uh, parental choice. You know, I got a lot of work to do as governor. I love what I'm doing, and I'm really proud of the work we've done, but we've got a lot of work to do. So uh, I think, you know, that I'm sometimes too passionate, and uh, they read way more into it than they should have. I'm, no, I'm not. I, no, they, the report said they thought I was, and that was, I think they mistook just the way I talk about education as maybe pick me, and that was not the case. Now, that Daily Caller report had quoted her spokesperson as saying the position is, quote, something that she is interested in, end quote. Regardless, working for Trump would likely mean repairing her relationship with him that went downhill after she had publicly endorsed Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president before the Iowa caucuses instead of Donald Trump. In Des Moines, I'm Dave Price.